Project Elite version 1 compared with version 2. I will take a look at rules, differences and some of the components. Changes to player setup. In version 1, you will get a character card, miniature and place three health tokens on the card. Then you will most likely start with two cards, a weapon card and an item card. Each player will draw two cards in any combination and then players will divide all the cards among them. In version 2 you will get a character board, miniature and a counter base. You will track your health on the board using a cube. Each player will start the game with one basic weapon card. You will draw basic weapon cards for the number of players plus two and then each player will choose one weapon card to start with. Changes to the mission or the objectives. In version 1, choose an objective card and a difficulty level. There are four types of objectives to choose from, extermination, recovery, recon and demolition. Place tokens on the board for when to draw boss and event cards. In the first version you always know when a boss will appear and when you have to draw an event card. In version 2, choose a mission you want to play from the rulebook. There are five types of missions to choose from. Extermination, Capture, Demolition, Recon and Exploration. Choose a difficulty level and set up the event deck with eight cards. You will draw one card in each round and you won't know when there is an event or if it's a card where nothing happens. Set up the boss cards. Eight bosses and 12 clear cards. When spawning monsters you will draw one or two boss cards depending on the difficulty level and you don't know when a boss will appear. Hero health, losing point and dice. In version 1 each player starts with 3 health tokens. When a hero receives a damage, remove one health token. If you lose your last health token, you lose one dice and will get 3 health tokens back. If you lose your last dice, then the hero is killed. In version 2 each hero has an individual damage track. When the hero receives a damage, move the damage marker one space. If the damage marker crosses a damage threshold, the hero loses one dice. If the damage marker is moved to the last spot on the damage track, then the hero is killed. In version 1, to get search cards, you have to lock a dice on the search spot on the board. You can choose to look at two cards in any combination from the weapons and the item cards and then choose one of the cards. In version 2 there will be placed search tokens on the board. To get search cards you need to stand on a search token spot. In each round only one player can search from each spot on the board. When you search you can draw three search cards and keep one of them. The search cards will have weapons or items on them. Spawning basic aliens. It's very much the same in the two versions. The new version uses an icon for if a card is activated after being spawned instead of using a different background color. Spawning boss aliens. It's very much the same in the first version. You will roll a D3 to determine the spawning spot and in the new version you will use a D6 dice. And the new version uses an icon for if a card has to be activated after being spawned. Killing a boss. In version 1, place an alien tech token where the boss was killed. Any player can enter the space and collect the token to get one alien tech card. In version 2, the hero that gave the boss the large damage can draw three alien tech cards and choose to keep one of them. For a solo game, in version 1 you will control one hero, where in version 2 you will control two heroes. And in version 1 you have a special setup for the missions, where in version 2 you will set up as if you were playing with two players. And that was a look at the rule differences and some of the components. Now we'll take a look at some more components. Basic aliens from version 1, basic aliens from version 2, so special aliens from version 1, boss aliens from version 1, boss aliens from version 2, tokens from both versions, objectives from both versions, 
dice from both versions. Version 1 hero cards, version 2 hero boards. All the heroes from both versions, the bus cards, the spawning cards, version 2 basic alien cards, weapons and item cards, alien tech cards, setup and helper cards, player board version 1, abandoned lab, and the alien crash side, and the boards from version 2, abandoned lab, and the alien crash side. And that was my look at the rule changes and the components. Thanks for watching!